Before becoming a cabinet minister, Tina Chumat Patterson served first as a Northern Cape Education MEC and then as Agriculture MEC. She first started with the first administration as the MEC of Education and she made major strides. We were towering above all provinces, being number one for consecutive three years and we managed to break the artificial ceiling of 90%. We went up to 92.7% pass rate. So she did quite a good work and from there she became the MEC for Agriculture. When she was there with her energy and uh, enthusiasm, we managed to accelerate the program of land restitution and redistribution. ANC members remember her as tough but fair and a mother figure to many. She has been such a mentor to me in the place besides playing an active role in making sure that queer people uh, remain on the agenda of the ANC and the ANC Women's League. Um, I can today say that she has been a great ally to us and most, most of the inclusion that has happened for the queer community has happened as a direct result of her. Jumat Peterson is remembered for her feistiness and her organizational work to build the party she's been a member of for decades. She was about to put her hat in the ring for a more prominent role in the party. From Retina passed on a time when the Northern Cape had resolved to support her in contesting for the Deputy President of the Instruments League and with this move having found expression countrywide as we awaited the declaring of the nomination process. Jumat Peterson was not without controversy though. She made the headlines following claims that she sold the country's oil reserve to Russia during her tenure as energy minister. And more recently, she was allegedly accused of soliciting a bribe to end the parliamentary probe into the public protector's fitness to hold office. She leaves behind two sons, Austin and Terence, and a family here and in Sweden. Ulrich Hendricks, SABC News, Kimberley, Northern Cape.